<laughs> this is a legendary actor who for tonight only has lifted his restraining order against us. Please welcome Alan Alda. Alan! Alan Alda! Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Thank you, thank you for, for being here, for letting bygones be bygones. <laughs> Don't get too close. All right, that's okay. true. Sure, it's true. That's, uh, yes, no, it's, that, that, by the way, this is a special word there that we have for you tonight. Oh, yes, this is, you know when you open a Chobani yogurt and there's that little bit of water? Oh. This is all of those. Yeah. All of those, nice. the, that's, this is, this is Greek water. Yeah. <laughs> So it might default at some point, but for the meantime... <laughs> what did you ever have a job before you were acting? Did you have jobs? Many, many. Day, I, day jobs? What yeah, did you I was a doorman and a cab driver. You were a cab driver? Yeah, for uh, about three months until I got scared. Really? <laughs> did you ever drive anyone in your, in your cab that you later saw in life anyway? Yes, J Jane Fonda, and then I made a movie with her 15 years later. Wow. Jane Fonda yeah, got she, into your cab. Yeah, and when I made the movie, she tipped me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but she, I didn't give you enough that night, she said. That's very, she got yeah. in your cab and she said, North Vietnam, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we went to the moon, what, how many times? Seven times? And then we just stopped. Yeah. Shouldn't we just go to the moon again? Wouldn't that be a morale booster? <laughs> well, we're trying to go to Mars now. Yeah, you think we can do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well, we can get there. We can, that's what I mean, we can get yeah. there and open the door and go, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's something. That is something. That'd be, this... that'd be a great live broadcast. Yeah, you know, there's, there's a guy, there's a private guy who wants to send people to, the, to Mars. <laughs> And he says, I need people who don't mind dying. Yeah? Oh, uh, well, all, nobody minds dying. We're all going to die. Wait, hold on. Hold on. So Spoiler I... alert. <laughs> <laughs> I actually decided uh, once that I was going to live to 106, and I stuck with it. Yeah? <laughs> so, so, far, so, so far, so good. But you know, on my science program, I talked to longevity experts who yes. said that we're going to live routinely to 250. Really? And here I say 106. I shortchanged myself. I know. I'm stuck with it. Do you Isn't think they think they think that in the near future we're going to live to 250? No, we'll, we'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. how is that going to affect when you get married? You'll be like, look, I'm only 90. I can't, <laughs> I can't tie myself down yet. We're going to be married for 140 years. Yeah. Well, uh, Can you imagine if you got married at 30 and then you were the generation that lived at 250? <laughs> you've, been, you've been married 60 years. In March, it'll be 60 years. Wow, That's amazing. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you, do believe, you believe in God? God? No. Alan, do you no? believe in God? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't think he believes in me. Yeah. Oh, yes. he would be a big Well, fan. what about the earthquakes? Yeah, that's true. And the floods. That's God farting. That's God with a yeah, urinary yeah. tract. Those, are, those, seem to be, those seem to be proof of God. What if you met God and he's this huge MASH fan? You'll oh, feel I'll terrible. Oh, I would say <laughs> Then I would say to God, so call me Pisher. Yeah. <laughs> and did your wife's parents like you? Very much, and I loved them. Yeah. Loved, lovely people. Were they Jewish? Yeah, nice. so totally. Yeah, they were totally Jewish. Yeah, <laughs> and and I think I'm Jewish. Yes, so and does so everybody does else. else. Yeah. <laughs> but, but here's why I think I'm Jewish. Yeah. My Italian grandfather told me, what was his name? Anthony. Uh, An Anthony. Anthony. Anthony Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I said that's a clue. <laughs> He, uh, Anthony D'Abruzzo, that's my name, Alfonso D'Abruzzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says the family came from Spain uh -huh. around 1492. That's when the Jews were Converso. expelled. Yes, yes. Yeah. And our name is D'Abruzzo, named after the region. If you're named after a region, it's twice as likely you're Jewish. Right, because they're like, what's your last name? You're like, uh, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
good? You want some water? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh my God! On stage the way I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tricked oh, us. You fucking <laughs>